Oh, so far in my in my yeah. career as queen, even just you know wearing the big costumes, it's sort of just. I get blown away when I look at all the different things that we have created. It's like, how did we do it all? That's it's true. amazing. Caribbean Carnival is right around the corner and what better way to celebrate than the release of a new documentary called Becoming a Queen. Carnival for me is an opportunity to be free and express myself creatively. The film was released on digital platforms yesterday. It follows the life of Torontonian Joella Crichton in 2018 as she tries to win the Caribbean Carnival's Queen competition for the 10th time. Uh, when I first went into Joella's mother's house, she has all these carnival uh, photos and uh, headpieces and chess pieces all over the place. And I was like, this is amazing. I've never seen this before. This is like a little mini carnival museum in here. And, and has anybody ever told your story? Outside of a few little news interviews, like nobody's done a long format piece on her. At the time, this was back in 2017, at the time she was going for her ninth win. So I was like, you know, if you win this year, that means next year you're going for 10. Like, we should do a documentary on you because I think this represents so many people in our community that we don't see. Joella has been part of Carnival since she was a child. As a child growing up and playing Carnival, I just, I loved the feeling. I loved the feeling of getting all dressed up and knowing that we were portraying a certain theme and getting on stage and performing. And then, you know, when I had my first opportunity at 18 years old, I was like, this is like amazing. I love this. And even though I didn't win that year, um, you know, what was important about that year for me was just building my confidence and being in front of the big crowd and learning how to portray a costume and really enjoying, you know, the sort of performance aspect of playing a queen. And then from there, it was just whoosh. The queen went on to win title after title, winning a total of nine crowns, but unfortunately didn't win that 10th title. Her intricate costume work done by Kenny Combs. She's wonderful. She's probably one of the best persons I've ever had to do a costume for. And she has that innate talent to play a costume. She appeals to the crowd. And once she gets in that costume, the character takes over. In the doc, Joella explains how she's now retired from competing. But what's next for her? Oh, I had a baby and... Um, Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> it's really important for me to continue to be involved and to get him involved. The beginnings of telling somebody, you know, here's an opportunity for you to partake in your, in your traditions, in your culture. And um, if he continues to do that, that's good and that, you know, that will keep the parade going and the festival going here in Toronto. For City News, I'm Stella Cuisto.